Hey there, book nerds. Welcome back to YA Wednesday. This week is all about the Missouri Gateway Readers Awards. This week is all about the Reader's Awards. We actually have a Beanstack Challenge live right now, today, where you can go and read all of the Gateway Reader's nominees, keep track of how many of them you have finished, and if you read all of them and vote in the spring for the winner, then you get entered for a chance to win a copy of the winning book. So be sure to do all of that by going to ldrl.org slash beanstack. If you signed up for summer reading, it is the exact same login. So you are ahead of the game. You can go back to Beanstack and click on the Gateway Readers Awards. Or if you are a middle schooler, hello, thank you for joining us. Um, you can also sign up for the Truman Awards and any younger siblings in your life can sign up for the awards for their level as well. So do all of that by going to ldrl.org slash beanstack or downloading the Beanstack app for Apple or Android. But I know you came here to listen to me talk about books, so that's what we're going to do. First up, I have Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So this is about Sawyer. Sawyer is 18. She isn't really interested in all of the, like, balls and glitz and glam that her family is really into. Sawyer works in an auto shop and she is very down to earth, very chill. But when her grandma calls and makes her an offer that she absolutely cannot refuse, she finds herself wrapped up in this world of Southern bells and balls and just everything that she was kind of trying to avoid. And along the way, she finds out lots of very scandalous and interesting secrets about the families in her life, including her own mom. So that is Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Here is a little bit of a preview. Oop. There we go. Oh no, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. This one's all you, Rodriguez. No way, I took the drunk tank after the Bison Day Parade. Bison Day? Try Oktoberfest at the Senior Citizen Center. So that is a little preview of Little White Lies. If you are a fan of Allie Carter or Gossip Girl or any of that kind of like intrigue, then this is definitely going to be a good pick for you. Definitely would recommend it. Next up, changing things up a bit, we have Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. Um, so Neil Schusterman, you're probably going to know from the Scythe series, which has also been big on the nominees the past couple years. This new one is also nominated, but it is a little bit different. So the premise is that in California, all of the water has run out. The faucets run dry, there's no showers, no nothing, there's no water. And Alyssa and her brother have to kind of try to figure out how to survive this new like post-apocalyptic world that they're living in. Um, so here's a bit of a teaser for this. Whoop. All right, this is Alyssa. The kitchen faucet makes the most bizarre sounds. It coughs and wheezes like it's gone asthmatic. It gurgles like someone drowning. It spits once and then goes silent. Our dog, Kingston, raises his ears, but still keeps his distance from the sink, unsure if it might unexpectedly come back to life, but no such luck. So that is Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. Um, just an FYI, this is a dystopia. It's gonna have kind of the typical violence you would expect from that genre. So if you read a lot of dystopia, if you read Neil Schusterman, it's gonna be kind of what you're um, expecting as far as how much violence is in there. And last but not least, as per usual, I saved the one I'm most excited about for the end. This is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this is about Monday who goes missing. Um, Monday is Claudia's best friend in the world, and then she disappears. And Claudia is determined to find out what happened to her, even when Monday's family won't really tell her what's going on. So it's a thriller, it's a mystery, it's all of those um, like crimey type things. Um, if you're a big fan of true crime, you're gonna get a kick out of this. But also if you are a fan of E. Lockhart, this is very similar to E. Lockhart. Um, so definitely would recommend it for uh, fans of We Were Liars and things like that. 
and it starts in September. So now is the perfect time to dive into uh, Monday's Not Coming. But here's the first couple of lines. This is the story of how my best friend disappeared, how nobody noticed she was gone except me, and how nobody cared until they found her one year later. So that is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. And just another FYI for you, this book does have depictions of domestic violence. So those are my three books for you for this week. They are all Gateway Readers nominees. Um, so you can pick any of these up at any of your local branches. <laughs> you can go to any LDRL branch to find the Gateway Readers Awards. All 12 of them, 12 or 15, something like that. I'll put a note right here that says the correct number. <laughs> um, you can go and find those. Um, and until then, um, I will see you guys next week. Happy Wednesday and happy reading. Bye.